Time once again for your update from the city of Crystal. The mayor was with us, Jim Adams. Welcome once again. Thank you. A lot of topics to talk about today from swimming to police building, but to start with elections. Election year coming up. Tell us what residents need to know, first of all, about what's on the ballot. Okay. What's on the ballot? Uh, we have some of the state races that are on the ballot. Uh, the big one in our area is, is the District 5 seat, Omar's seat. We have eight candidates there. Uh, the primary is August 9th, and of course, there's going to be early voting that starts on June 24th. Uh, in Crystal, we don't have any primary, so in the general, we will have two candidates for each of our locations there, Ward 1, Ward 2, and Section 2. So that's... that's a lot of information on the city's website about the election process, registering, early voting, all of those things, crystalmn.gov. But let's talk about some changes of some boundaries because of redistricting. Who in the city of Crystal needs to pay particular attention? Okay, if you're from Ward 1 or Ward 2 in prior elections, uh, you may have a change. It used to be that the south side of Crystal was divided horizontally. Now it's divided uh, vertically, pretty much down Douglas. It does veer off in some places, so make sure you take a look at the map and find out which ward you are in. All right, again, on the website, and also information on the website about election judges always needed, so if you're interested in helping out in that way, go to the city's website to find out more. Let's talk pickleball, an exciting sport that is just booming in the area, and it's going to be booming in Crystal. Where and when? So it's being built currently as we speak in Becker Park, uh, it's in the location where the tennis courts were, uh, so that's being redone, and so is the basketball court. Uh, we're going to end up with eight courts uh, that should be ready by Crystal Frolics, so last weekend in July, and uh, we can't be more excited. This is a fun sport that is played by many different ages. Yeah, people will love it now that it goes outside, has been played inside at the community center, and again, the basketball court will stay there, but with new pavement as well, so get ready. Police building, give us an update as that structure comes up out of the ground and really looking good from the outside. How's it going inside? Inside, we're starting to, well, walls are up and finishing is starting to occur. We're ordering furniture. Furniture should be in. Uh, we're looking for a grand opening as early as September, so that's a little bit ahead of schedule what we had we we were hoping for October but we're a little nice. bit ahead so all right happy. more information to come finally let's talk swimming in the city of Crystal the aquatic center is now open what do we need to know to get in the water it is now open um, well you just you can get a season pass on our website uh, times you can visit our website it's uh, crystalmn.gov slash pool mm -hmm. And you can click on the click on the hours tab there. All right, and also information there available for needing employees. So in aquatic centers, they need a lot of staff people, so you can find out more there. Mayor Adams, thanks again for your time. We'll talk to you again soon. All right, thank you. Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.